everybody. Welcome back to Simi and Jimmy's Treehouse Podcast. And boy, howdy, do we have a psychological analysis today. There was a question, who is the most autistic of the original Peaches? That being myself, Florian Himsel, and E. Rich McCoy. And today, or maybe next week, we will see about you know, how long this takes. But we will answer that question. I, of course, am Simeon Jimmy, joined as always by Florian Himsel. Hey, everybody, ready for some autism? Or maybe we'll all have a 0 out of 50 score at the end, so no Holy autism shit. at all. You know, I would I not mean, doubt it. We're all very normal men. <laughs> I've been told many times that I'm very autistic, so I think that would be <coughs> impossible. Well, that's just on this podcast. Uh, we're also joined by no. E. Rich McCoy. I got a touch of something. I guess we'll see if it's the tism. Uh, speaking of having a touch of something, uh, before we start this very long quiz that will take us hours to do, uh, should I start this podcast off by being a little bit disgusting? Yeah, sure. Yes. Go for it. Yeah, so I'm not actually in the best shape to be doing this podcast, but as they say in Hollywood, the show must go on. Uh, I think after about two hours of sleep, I woke up uh, with extreme food poisoning at like 3 a.m., and, uh, you know, I have not really slept since that point. And it was, uh, have you ever had the problem where your body wants to diarrhea and vomit at the exact same time? Because let me oh tell you, God. it's a hard choice to make because <laughs> either way, something's going where it shouldn't be. Because if I only yeah. have the one toilet, but I'm sitting on it, you know, <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? You need, what you need a, a fucking sink nightmare. That's like right next to your toilet, so you can just turn your head and explode into the sink. Yeah, so thank, uh, thankfully, the sink is right next to the toilet, and I did manage to get everything into its uh, proper bowl without any <laughs> disgusting waste ending up on my floor. But wow, uh, incredible. very, very sleepy and still sick. Probably gonna have diarrhea four more times during this long podcast. But hey, I just want everybody to eat? know. That's a great question, E. Rich, and I've been very scared to find out because uh, <laughs> you know, I've got plenty of leftovers in my house and little snacks oh I was God. trying. So any food that I have in my home could be poison right now, and I'm afraid to eat anything. Man, just get rid of it all. Yeah. Start oh, well, fresh. Basically. Uh, a thing that most people don't know is that it might sometimes take you up to three days to actually get the food poisoning from the food. So that food might not even like be anywhere near like where it should be anymore. It very well could be that I, I did eat some leftover sushi from the day before that was in the fridge. It should have been fine, but, you know, that's like the most uh, obvious culprit at the moment. Uh, did you make sushi or did you order it? No, it was from a restaurant. I had a few pieces left over and then ate it the next morning for breakfast. Florian, did you ask if he made sushi? Do you make sushi? Yeah, it takes no. a little bit of work. <laughs> I mean, like... like I I'm so confused by the concept of taking sushi home from the restaurant, you know? I, I, hmm. I don't know how. Well, I guess America, we serve much larger portions. You probably like mm. eat your three pieces that you paid 18 shots <laughs> for. And you're like, oh, I'm no, so I, full from my three pieces. But no, no I, I, I got like I, two I full once. sushi rolls, so I got a few pieces, you know, to take home. <laughs> I'm a hungry no, lad. I, no, that's definitely how much I eat when I go. <laughs> two full rolls? Hell yeah. I usually get a, a big, uh, like, $15 roll and then like a smaller like 4 or $5 roll. Oh fuck I that. I, I hate those dry ass little fucking gas station sushi rolls that are 6 bucks. No. I'm either getting the, the special for 16 bucks or nothing. Mm, it's gotta be wow. coated in sauce. It needs to be fucking dripping <laughs> wet. It needs to be moist in my mouth. I don't want that dry ass fucking rice in my mouth. But anyways, like as you were saying yeah, actually... I, I do remember there was at least one time where I wanted to to vomit and and diarrhea at the same time, but it just I I, I just managed to always switch the position just as it was happening. So <laughs> I was I wondering if my if my thigh gap was <laughs> narrow enough that I could like vomit through my legs while shitting at the same time. But, you know, but I did not have to resort to that. Thankfully, it would have just ended up with vomit on my dick. I think. I mean, you probably would just want to go to the to the shower at that point. I did take a shower immediately after this fiasco, so I, I had a 3.30 a.m. shower this morning. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah. You gotta do that. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> and now I wish I had some proper sleep to do this 50-question autism quiz, but I guess we should get started, huh? Now, you mentioned not liking textures, like, 
certain textures that it has to be like completely drenched in sauce or something. That's that's an autism thing, isn't it? No, it's wow. it's appreciating good sushi. I don't want d- your fucking okay. basic ass, dry ass sushi with probably a piece of uh, fake crab with crab with a K. <laughs> And a yep. fucking cream cheese. No, I want some crazy shit with a bunch of like eight different fish eggs topped up and, you know, crab lobster. The, uh, one time I had sushi that had uh, steak in it for some reason. Just go crazy. Give me some crazy shit. Well, if, you, if you're drowning it in sauce, then you're definitely not appreciating the flavor. No, I'm much, not adding so. anything to it. This is how it is served. I mean, I ah, add wasabi and I, maybe I'll dip it in a little bit of soy sauce, but no, a good sushi piece, you shouldn't have to do all the, the bells and whistles. It should be good just on its own. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, well, should we I, do the autism <laughs> quiz now? Or do you want to keep the sushi cast going? We could do a prank like Red Letter Media did for the <laughs> the uh, Star Wars holiday special where the entire review, they never actually got around to talking about it. That could be our well, autism quiz episode. But we'll get to it any moment now. I, I just want to say that my favorite sushi is just avocado. You know, it's just, just a little rice. Just avocado, avocado, nothing else? I mean, it, it has to have some raw yeah. fish in there to count as sushi, right? No. Oh, well, maybe not. I, I should hope not. I mean, there's definitely just, packs. I mean, if, if you're eating just like rice with avocado, it just sounds like uh, like a poor millennial rather than a sushi. <laughs> I mean, it, it's rolled up like a sushi roll. Oh, okay. Like, do, do, do you always have 10 things in each roll? Uh, I like, it doesn't have to be 10. But I like, like it when it's a little wacky. Yeah, I, I just like avocado the most. And it's, and I mean, the, the less meat, the better, you know? <laughs> Wow. Yeah, the one time I had uh, beef in it, it, w- it was pretty disgusting. Uh, but I, it was a special I for bet. the month, so I wanted to try it. I don't I, understand that. Beef? Well, some people like the, the cooked sushi, which I don't really get. Uh, like, people like their deep fried sushis. Uh, I, yeah, like people put tempura stuff in it, and that's that doesn't seem right. Yeah, just yeah, keep it nice and good. soft and raw. I mean, I guess it's still raw inside if, if the outside is fried, right? Yeah, I just don't want my sushi crunchy. But uh, I have—I mean, I have uh, fifty-eight more minutes of sushi material if that's what we're doing today. <laughs> no, no, we'll get to it. <laughs> Question <Wait>. number one. <laughs> You don't like the, the crunchy ones? Oh my god. They're really good sometimes. Okay, fine, go ahead. That's the question. <laughs> okay, all the answers for these questions are definitely agree, slightly agree, slightly disagree, or definitely disagree. So try to keep those in your mind, Florian. Question yep. one. Uh, and we have to keep the order consistent, so let's go uh, Florian, Erich, and me. Mm-hmm. So Florian, I prefer to do things with others rather than on my own. Damn, this is not very specific. Then I guess uh, definitely not. Definitely disagree. Yeah. You like to have your underlings do all the hard work for you. You don't want to do anything alone. <laughs> uh. Okay, maybe I should go for like slightly disagree because hmm. I, I do have a workout body and stuff. But it, like mostly, I, I really like being alone. So, it's... all right, go ahead. Whoever is next, Mr. E. Rich. I- I'd say mostly agree, not totally agree. That's so a slightly so agree. Going. Yeah, so, slightly agree. So is introversion just part of autism? Hmm. I wish there was a neutral option because I feel like half of my hobbies I like doing alone and the other half I like doing with, you know, you chuckleheads on the podcast. So it is rough. Like, I don't want to do a solo podcast, but I also <laughs> don't want to, like, you know, have everybody come watch me read a book. <laughs> you know, so it's like, there's plenty of shit I like doing alone. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll slightly disagree. I think mostly I'm a solitary kind of person. Uh, Wait, so there's four four answers then to yeah, the question. Yeah, definitely oh, agree, okay. slightly agree, slightly disagree, and definitely disagree. Yeah, I just assumed there'd be a middle one, but yeah, okay, good to know. Yeah, I wish there was a middle one. Uh, number two, I prefer to do things the same way over and over again. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see, I... No, I think that that would te- definitely have to be a hard yes. Okay. Uh, you want to talk about that a little bit? Well, okay, this is probably a little embarrassing, but there's this this really stupid game called Dwarf Romantic, and it's so basic, and I just can't stop playing it literally all day, and it's it's a, it's a real problem. Okay, and I've I've had this before. I've never had Pokemon. Okay, so I'm not like that that basic. You know, but not that basic autistic, but I have it now and I can't stop it. And 
that's a problem. Well, is that really the essence of the question of I prefer to do things the same way over and over again? I think that's more yeah, about like not, having a methodology to various things you do. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I have like a lot of things that I, I do in a very specific way. Okay. What about you, Erich? I'd say somewhat agree because I like to do things a certain way, but I'm not super upset if that is not the way I have to do it. Oh, okay. I, I, I guess I have like one one other example. Is and Erich, do you me. have to click the button every time you talk because we can hear it? <laughs> No, I, I don't have to. Okay, let's see if we can just not do the push to talk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what are you saying, I do Florian? It. I, I, you don't hear when I do it? That's mm -mm. good. So there's this game called League of Legends where you have like hundreds of champions and you pick one and then you play it for an entire game. And, it, and there's a lot of people that, that play like a wide variety of champions and I always play the same fucking one. And it's not even one that's generally agreed to be a good one, but I just, you know, it's... I, I really am that way. It's. <laughs> I think talking about League of Legends on this podcast should instantly get him labeled <laughs> autistic. Uh, he'll be on the spectrum for sure. I mean, I, I actually did play like so much League of Legends. I guess that's the one game. I, that's the game I played all day three years ago. So, yeah. Uh, I think <laughs> if I'm going to relate this to, I guess, like my YouTube stuff, uh, I guess I do just do the same couple different shows over and over again. Uh, you know, we're not like uh, reinventing the wheel every single podcast, not really. So I guess I'll slightly agree with this one as well. Yep. But, but then you, you, you had the anime reviews and you stopped doing them. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that, that came to a natural end on episode 50 when the main character died, Florian. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, no. Number three. No, number three reviews. of 50, by the way. <laughs> uh, if I try to time. if I try to imagine something, I find it very easy to create a picture in my mind. It's we okay, Florian first. Sorry. I mean, I damn no, I don't think I I I don't think I have that specifically. So I guess slightly disagree. Now you want me to to talk more? I thought you were pushing me to to move fast. Uh, sorry, my uh, my headphones stopped working, so I can't hear properly. So I was just gonna let oh, you wow. guys keep going for a sec. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's like I, I can I can conceptually understand something and like have a rough estimation of it, but it is not like completely thought out. And so it's more like a draft than a uh, no, like I, a I, picture of something. I can't imagine anyone like saying yes to this. Is like what? What are you just like? Like a Dali AI in your head? You know, you just immediately. Like, Some people are like, like that. And do you know about mind palaces, for you? I thought I mean, that was like, a joke from the Sherlock TV show. That's not real, is <laughs> it? No, but it, it, it actually is a real thing that people like have a space in their mind that they dedicate to remembering things, and they go into different areas of that place to unlock memories for themselves. I wonder if I should try that. I mean, it's probably really hard to do. Hmm. I think we're going to be stuck in Florian's mind palace. And so, <laughs> Florian, uh, what answer did you give? I missed it for number three. Uh, I said slightly disagree. Okay, and Erich, what did you give? I slightly agree. You find it very easy to picture? Yeah, I, I think I can yeah. I can see a vague image. Like, there's the, right. always the apple um, example, and it's like, how fuzzy is the apple for you? And there's a little scale. I'm probably mm -hmm. about halfway on it, yeah. so yeah, I'll slightly agree with that. Right. And unfortunately, and like... I did not get my headphone issued a fix, and when oh, I no. unplugged it from the computer to plug it back in, I think OBS stopped recording you guys talking for like five seconds, so we're just really oh, having Jesus. a rough time. Yikes. <laughs> just a right. rough <laughs> time. You know, it's bad enough that I was sick, but we have more options <laughs> to do, I guess. Yeah, it's oh. broken all the time. <laughs> maybe maybe we should just resume this another day because I I'm starting to feel sweaty and sick again. Mm -hmm. I'm having a rough time, boys. I mean, up to you, but I feel for you, dude. Going un until it sucks. You have we a, can. A uh, I could save the the first 15 minutes and we can reconvene at any time to resume this, and I'll save our, all three of our answers so far because I don't want okay. people to miss the sushi conversation. That was very fun. Right, right. The sushi conversation was good. <laughs> Specifically, hyper focusing on a topic is very autistic as That's well. Right. That is a question coming up. <laughs> well, can't wait to answer that. I guess whenever. 
Well, everybody, I'm having technical issues and I'm uh, sick as fuck. So next time you hear our voices, it might be three weeks from now. Who knows? <laughs> the autism oh, quiz will continue. Wow, Hi, everyone. I guess, or maybe not. For maybe one second, stay right here. Yeah, autism will turn. <laughs> Well, everybody, it's been about six days since my last uh, simultaneous vomit diarrhea. Uh, Florian, have you had any sushi between now and then? Uh, no, I just had a, a bowl of... Ebola? Well, you guys got no. another <laughs> Ebola outbreak over there? Fuck. And I no, thought it was bad over the, here. The, those Asian bowls that have, like, several vegetables in them and, and rice. R poke what? bowls? Robolel? No idea. Hmm. That, definitely not that. <laughs> no, really? Definitely not? Uh, question yeah. four on the autism quiz. <laughs> I frequently get so ob strongly absorbed in one thing that I lose sight of other things. Uh, I mean, that's every tangent we've ever had on this show, right? <laughs> I mean, you keep us quite on track, usually. Sometimes uh, I get lost in the sauce a little bit. Uh, but what would you answer for this one, Florian? Holy shit, the, the question just fell out of my head. You get so sorry. strongly absorbed in one thing that you lose <laughs> sight of other things. <laughs> wow, that was not intentional, you know, that was not a joke. Okay, uh, I think I... God, do we ever say anything strong? I think I slightly agree. Well, maybe you're just not a passionate person. Yeah, maybe. What about you, E. Rich? <laughs> uh, slightly disagree. Uh, I will occasionally get into that mood, but like... It's very rare. I'm gonna I mean, say I, definitely agree, just because the week that I started playing Sekiro, uh, you know, my every waking uh, thought was, how am I gonna beat this motherfucker? How am I, this, <laughs> he keeps throwing fucking lightning at me. Okay, this piece of shit, but uh, you know, you figure it out, and now I'm stuck on this Ishin bitch, and I gotta fucking beat one guy, and then he has three health bars, and I'm like, fuck this gay shit. So yeah, I'd say I'm, I'm pretty strongly absorbed in this one thing. I can't believe you played Secure. That's awesome. You should have streamed that. Uh, well, I'm planning on streaming it. My issue is uh, I practiced it, and with all the HDMI cables going in and out from one thing to another, there's like a very slight delay, which is not good on a game that you need precise Why timing to block the attacks. Why didn't you get it on yeah. Steam? It has a pretty good port. Send yeah. me a copy, and I'll fucking play it, dude. <laughs> Hook me <laughs> up, brother. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> yeah, whoever wants to gift me Sekiro on Steam, I guess, so I don't have my little bit of lag, hook me up. Uh, number five. <laughs> I often yeah, notice I small sounds when others do not. I'm going to go ahead and say definitely agree for me just because I bitch at you guys on the podcast about this every week. Mm. Yeah, I definitely agree. But that's just a streamer thing, I guess. Yeah. You don't, you don't want to hear any little sounds if you're streaming at least. <laughs> Uh, what about you, Florian? You gonna put agree yeah, on this Florian. one? Yeah, yeah, definitely agree. And e I'd say slightly agree. Uh, what little sounds do you notice, e Rich, that other people are ignoring? Yeah, I, I don't um, think that checks out for not, me, Rich. Not on this, not on the stream, but like in real life, like out and about in the world, I'm pretty observant. Yeah, when we had that stream where the one guy was blowing his nose all the time, you, you barely heard him at all. We thought he was you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, number six. I usually <laughs> notice car number plates are similar strings of information. Well, absolutely not, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> How like, often do you see cars? Because I saw you posted a, a picture of your, I guess, neighborhood on Twitter, and you said, Oh, I shouldn't have posted this. They're usually aren't cars in the photo. Well, well, uh, well, like, what the fuck are you talking about? There's usually not cars there. It's the street. No, that was the, to the town square. It's like a pedestrian zone. I don't even know why there were cars there. It's oh, crazy. That's why you were compelled to take a photo? <laughs> no, it was because of the snow. Oh. <laughs> Freaking snow in March. Yeah. Oh, man, what a crazy world you live in over there. Snow in March. I can't even imagine two days ago I mean, at my house. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it's, I guess everyone. I guess we had snow in now. April, so, you know, really not that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but photo worthy moment for sure. <laughs> uh, so, Erich, do you notice uh, car number plates or similar strings of information? Um, I'd say slightly agree. Um, don't know whether that's autism or just pattern recognition, but uh, I'm definitely like looking for things. Well, some would say pattern recognition is one of autism's main superpowers, Erich. 
Oh yes, yes. The predator really went went after. <laughs> yes. Autism being a super power that. Yeah, it's it's too bad. Value. Too bad it gets cancelled out by my dyslexia. So I they, they just get slapped <laughs> from my mind as soon as I see them. The numbers. <laughs> oh man, that's a curse right there. I'm gonna drop another. Yeah. Definitely agree. Just because uh, I think like the number one six eight. I've been noticing all over since I was about eleven. So you know. Wow. There used to be a. Uh, and I think with the license plate thing, I used to recognize like numbers all the time. But I think I realized it was probably because I was making the same exact commute at the same time of day every day. Mm -hmm. So it's oh, probably so just, just the same cars. fucking guy. It's yeah, probably it's all yeah. the same people driving to the same place every day. But I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, then it didn't really stick in your mind enough, then did it? If you, if you well, sure it did. I noticed it. But you didn't notice the rest of the number, and that it was always the same. Hmm. Well, next question, Florian. Uh, yep. Other people frequently tell me, uh oh, that what I've said is impolite, even though I think it <laughs> is polite. <laughs> see, see, this is this is a really interesting question because, like, mm -hmm. I think back in the day, I, I had this way more than I do now. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so, like. If I had all this autism then, I wouldn't have gotten better, right? I would have just masked it by being slightly less impolite. Well, I, I think I think it's well known that like after a certain age, some kids will learn how to kind of either hide their, yeah, their autism they, they, or like but they, they still figure have out it. a way to like... Well, yeah, surely autistic yeah. people are but capable you... of growing and changing as humans and learning that their behavior needs to be improved, right? They're not like fucking subhuman retards here. Yeah, yeah, but they do but they don't stop being autistic because they stop being rude. Yeah, I mean, I don't stop being depressed, but I can still fucking smile. <laughs> yeah, well, I, uh, I think I'll... Figure it out, I, dude. You're supposed to be smart, you autistic fuck. Start treating people the right way. Figure it out. Read a goddamn yeah. book or something. Wow, good thing you're not being impolite. Yeah, get over right it, you autistic fuck. That's my advice. <laughs> yeah, I think Just I'll stop being autistic. Outthink the autism. That's what I did. No, I'm, I'm just gonna, like, make a... No, I, I think I'm gonna say like if something applied to me in the past more, then I think I'll 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 go with the the past like way it was. What do you think? Is that is that good or bad? I'd rather focus on who we are. Um, yeah, I guess now. today. Do it now. But, but like, I, but I would also say like, do you have a overriding urge to do that regardless? Might also mm -hmm. be worth seeing. Like, does it take all of your willpower to stop yourself from? Well, since everyone's still <laughs> saying that, rude things. Well, since everyone still thinks I'm rude, and I, I had the guy who, who recommended Skinamarink on, like, a few <laughs> days ago, and I, I, I fucking exploded on him, but I guess that <laughs> was intentional. But, I mean, that, that, was, that was based yeah. on what you feel like you were slighted, or you feel like you were <laughs> done wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, yeah, the, the key to this question here is you think you're being polite, but they think you are being yeah. impolite. Now, if I'm going to answer this, it's pretty easy for me. I know I'm being impolite when I yeah. say it. Like, I'm intending to right. offend. So I, I think I would have to disagree with this myself because uh, I love being rude to people. Yeah, I think I'll I'm, I'm, I think I'm have... God, I don't know. What do you think? Agree or slightly agree for me? I'd say slightly. I don't think you're slightly. I don't yeah. think you're that really okay. offensive. Yeah, I you guess, have to know the rules to break them. Yeah, so, <laughs> you definitely know what the rules are. Well, no, you, you have to not know them to 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 be agreeing to this question. Well, Erich, what do you think for you? I'm doing strongly, strongly disagree. That I, I feel the need to uh, say rude things to people. <laughs> No Tourette's, no no autism nope. Tourette's. None at all. Okay, number eight out of 50. <laughs> when I'm reading a story, I can easily imagine what the characters might look like. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, for, this one is, it really depends on what you're reading, because some authors, I appreciate right. it when they do not fill the book full of description on what everybody looks like. Because I don't really care. Yeah. I'm just gonna fill in like whatever Hollywood actor I like in my brain for every fucking character. It does not matter how you describe Tyrion looking like. I'm gonna imagine fucking little manlet man. You know. I don't, so, mm -hmm. but uh, what about you guys? Oh, I think definitely disagree on that one. I don't think I, I even get an idea. Yeah, I guess if you can't wow, see the apple know. in your brain, you probably can't see all these fictional right, people. Right, right. The apple. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about that uh, six days ago. One I of think. the first questions. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. Yeah. You'll get to it when you re-listen to this. Uh, Erich, <laughs> what what's your fuck? answer for this one? 
Um, I'd say slightly agree. I have like a vague outline or a vague idea of what the characters look like, but I don't really like have specific detail or specific like this is exactly who it is. I guess sometimes I'll like cast someone in that role, but even then it's kind of like a blurry kind of a vague outline of a person. Yeah. Yeah, I put slightly disagree for this one because I again mm. I, I actively do not care what the author says that the character looks like. <laughs> and really, that, that might uh, extend to real life too. Like when it comes to like fashion and stuff, like just details like that go right over my head. I don't even try to pay mm. attention to mm. it. Who really yep. cares about how somebody looks? So when they cast Hermione as a black woman in the Harry Potter TV mm. show, you're going to be perfectly fine with that. Uh, I think they should go for super light skinned black girl for Hermione so that it fits mm. the mud blood mm. thing. I, we were talking about this in uh, Discord. <laughs> we were. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. I but mean, I, they, I, they, I, should, they should definitely because like. Like if, it, if it's like no, nobody ever is like pure black anymore, right? What? Mm. It's pretty pretty hard to find someone who's like like ebony black. Well, right? if you go to like no, they're, Sudan they're or you know, there's oh, lots of countries with them. They just don't want to put them in our media for some reason. I, I follow a model on Twitter who's like her skin is so incredibly black. It is like the darkest shade of black. Like her her skin would suck in light anywhere she wow. is. <laughs> So you want to see her black hole, huh, E. Rich? Mm, mm. Hmm. Sucking in all the light, mm. huh? Are you agree <laughs> to that? Whose turn is it to answer this? <laughs> Are we on the next one? <laughs> okay, I think number, we're on the next one. Number nine. Yeah, yeah. Now, I've taken this autism quiz probably four times in my YouTube career, <laughs> and I'm always confused by this question. So let's see if we can... Because mm. one of the words, you know, the main word of the question has two different definitions, so please answer to your best uh, ability. Number nine, I am fascinated by dates. Oh, I, I assume this should mean, like, uh, dates on a calendar. Like, you, yeah, you would assume. Yeah, it's April got to 29th. be. April 29th. Every, every April 29th, I have to do something. Yeah, or, yeah. or May 4th, or, or that stupid weed day, whatever that but is. But I don't know. If you go on 4chan <laughs> or Reddit, you're going to see a lot of autistic people obsessed with dates. and I mean, the other kind of date. So, you know, it's a tough one. Well, it's obviously not referring to those. Like, How do you know? It doesn't clarify. I've I mean, seen... I've, se I've look, never look. once in my life seen an autistic person care about the fucking calendar date. I've seen them obsess really? over dating women every second of every day of my entire life. Well, I mean, I think it's pretty clear that this isn't an incel test, so I, there's no way that this <laughs> refers to, to dating women. Okay, you're right. What's your answer, Florian? <laughs> uh, this I wanted to waste time on this 50 question quiz with the <laughs> boring. Go ahead. Yeah, I, d I disagree. Oh. Strongly? Strongly or? Uh, lightly, I guess. Hmm. Mm. Erich, do you are you fascinated I, I, by the date? I strongly disagree. I like yeah. I do not give a shit about what fucking day it is. Yeah, I agree with Erich. Uh, I almost wish the question was about romantic dates because that makes it more interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you autistic yeah, people have answer. very boring interests if you care about the fucking calendar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Try reading One Piece. Uh, Actually, it pisses me off. It pisses me off whenever I see uh, today is the anniversary or today is like, it's been 140 years since that happened. I don't give a shit. Yeah. It's going to be that way every fucking year. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, every well, single year on Twitter, I have to see the same posts from like the same accounts. Like, oh, now it's been one extra year of this anniversary. Like, it's the same exact boring. post. You're going to get the same no, fucking no, likes every not. time. Fucking like no, farming. That, that's a lie. Like most of the time, you get way more likes if it's like a, a round anniversary, like ten years. So, and, and it's it's good to remember the dates, and I guess that would be the best time to remember them, like when they happen. But I yeah, think I Kino think Corner posted a. Uh, uh, this is the twenty-one year anniversary of Irreversible, and he got like <laughs> fifty thousand likes. <laughs> There, well, he wow. was doing a video. <laughs> Don't say wow. He rich. That's a complete lie. <laughs> 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 Uh oh. Yeah, how how would he know that? <laughs> you, you guys think Kino got fifty thousand likes on Twitter? Come on, he can't even get ten thousand no, no, follows, no, no, dude. How the fucking algorithm's gonna work? He yeah, pays he for fucking go. Twitter blue. It could, it could <laughs> yeah, he he pays on, for Twitter. <laughs> yeah, you didn't notice? No, I didn't know he paid for Twitter. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, he got the, the check mark at the same time that that the. That Elon bought it, so I I think that's pretty. pretty wow! So if you bought a ten dollar copy of Wasted Hours, you you paid for Kino's month on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Hell yeah. Good job. Uh, question 10. We're almost one fifth through half an hour into the podcast. Uh, in a social yeah. group, I can easily keep track of several different people's conversations. Uh oh. Absolutely disagree. <laughs> <laughs> well, do tell, Florian. Oh, God. Like, I. Like, if there's like two people. Uh, two groups of people, not, well, one big group, and then there's like two conversations. Then, I, then my my head just explodes. I, I cannot. <laughs> like I, I, I'm so confused which one of them I should talk to. You know? Yeah. No, yeah, I know. I, I mean, I guess. Now, do like, my method and ignore both and look at your phone. <laughs> <laughs> no decision wow, has okay. to be made. I mean, there's I one more interesting thing that's on your phone. I'm like fairly certain. Yeah. Or just start talking know. out loud to yourself and start a third conversation. <laughs> I don't know which one of these is more autistic. <laughs> <laughs> Everidge, what's your answer? Uh, slightly disagree. I, I I can do it. It's just effort. Like it takes a lot of effort to do. I can't remember the last time I was in a social situation where a group of people were like together but not talking to each other. That I mean. Like if I go to a party, I can enough, yeah, I, I can float from group to group at a party. But like if we're all together, like at one dinner table, why the fuck are we not all talking together? That's my question. I mean, if there's a lot of people, it, it can break down into yeah. several. Well, I don't need to talk to that many people at once, so fuck that. I'm gonna say disagree. You know, they uh, say you only really have like what, like three friends. Who needs to talk wait, to twenty people at once? Wait, you wait, you disagree even though you appear to be unable to do it. I can easily keep track. It, it's not easy for me because it requires me to care, and I truly don't. Right? Did I say disagree? Yes. As well? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And number I eleven. You I would find strongly agree. I find social situations easy. Hmm. Florian. Well, I definitely find them very unpleasant. Like, if, if there's ever more than, than, like, four or five people, it's definitely, like, a crowd. Yeah. And I, I mean, I guess I'm not as bad as I think, but I, I mean, I, I do struggle, so it's not great. I, I guess I agree that I find them difficult. Oh, so, so you disagree with the prompt, which is I find them easy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I disagree. Uh, what was the, the last prompt again? I don't know. In if a I, social that's... group, I can easily keep track of several different people's conversations. And I said disagree, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> Erich, do you find social situations easy? Uh, fairly. So I'd say slightly agree. Yeah, I'll uh, follow you up on that one. Okay, number yeah. 12. I tend to notice details that others do not. Florian, with a keen eye for details, does one truth prevail? <laughs> Wait, what does one truth prevail mean? I don't... If you pay attention to all the clues around you, you'll find out the, you know, the one truth. I, I think that, like, if you could, if you obsess about the details, you actually don't see, like, the, ma the big picture very well. Can't see the forest for the trees, Florian. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, so I definitely... I definitely focus on small details a lot. Yeah, like most of the time when I'm working, I, I have this problem where it's like one little bug and then I'm like, oh, I gotta work on this for three hours even though I've got more important shit to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's probably good in programming, right? To get all the bugs out? Uh, it is, but it also is very draining, so it doesn't help that much. Hmm. Erich, right, what about I'll you? Uh, I would strongly disagree. I'm very good at seeing the overall picture and focusing on the need to not get caught up in the details. Uh, I would say I'm a detail oriented person. Uh, when I reviewed a Mr. Enter's book, I spent about one third of the video just pointing out the typos that he did not notice. <laughs> so I guess I would have to agree with that one. You have editor brain. Mm, yeah, no, I truly do. <laughs> we picked the green for me as well, right? Yeah. Do you want me to okay. just send you a link to this quiz and then you can tell me which bubble you clicked or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah that'll actually save okay. some time, I guess. Yeah. Okay, here's the link. Next question is... I would rather go to the library than to a party. Wow. <laughs> Two bad choices. For Florian, the library is a party. <laughs> Two bad choices. <laughs> but which, one, which one would you be at more? Foreign. Uh, I. Okay, so I, I guess back in the day, the library had like computers, and, and that was. <laughs> they that still was, like, do. The, they have not moved uh, those out yet. I mean, yeah, but they were good computers at the time. Now they're 
pretty bad. Yeah, they're getting shittier computers as time moves on. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're they, downgrading they their software. <laughs> well, no, it's not upgrading. Like, yeah. So I, I guess I'm still picking the the library. Yeah, the parties are the worst. <laughs> What's so bad about a party? Uh, well, there's boost, there's smoking, then there's a lot of people. Where to begin? Jesus. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Yeah. Not all parties have to have booze and smoking, Florian. Yeah, I guess. Then I guess you only got the people. I mean, if it's... I'm, I mean, it depends how big the party is. Like, the bigger it is, the more boost there'll be. Just throw your own party and only provide uh, ball frog water and <laughs> corn pizza, I guess. I <laughs> schnitzel, too. Well, I'm definitely not doing that. <laughs> oh, uh, e. Rich, would you rather go to the library or to a party? I'm going to assume it's a party I want to be at rather than one that I don't, because I, I would easily not want to go to a party that I don't know anyone there, and I'm just kind of like, well, this is fucking terrible. So I'd say slightly agree on going to the party. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to say I would definitely rather go to a party than to a fucking library. Uh, what am I going to do at the library that I can't do at home? Mm -hmm. I, saw, I saw you liked books. I could do that at home. The library is a smelly public place full of homeless people. <laughs> like, what, what do you pe mean you can do that at home? I can read a yeah, book at home. I, but I go to the library, grab my book, and leave. I'm not yeah. staying there. No, I go to Amazon.com forward slash piratebay.org, and I download all the books I want <laughs> and read them at home. Uh, I would, I, mm -hmm. I would not read books on a computer. That seems very inconvenient. Well, I don't either. I got. I got physical books uh, in the mail, but uh, fuck the library party. You know, last time I went to a party was like two weeks ago. Me and Biggs and my brother and a bunch of people got together and played the game of life on PS1. Now that's a party, folks. I wow. do that every week rather than the, go to the I'm library. very confused about this question. People go to the library? Like they just go? Yeah, no, th this is just out of date. Nobody goes to the library. Yeah, this yeah, quiz is probably they're... from 1990. They probably should have should have said something else. Like maybe do you go to an anime convention or something? No, I guess. That's like I understand if you're like a child and your like parent has brought you to the library and it's like we're gonna spend the day here because we have nothing else to do. But like, like, mm -hmm. like guys, what what's a, a thing that autistic people would go to when they don't have to be in a group? Home. <laughs> A padded yeah, cell. It should, it should be, be, would something. you rather stay home reading or go to a party? Mm -hmm. But even then, like, that's not yeah. autistic. It's just being, yeah, like, introverted. introverted. Yeah. Anyway, here's one that I'm definitely going to disagree with. Uh, <laughs> 14. I find making up stories easy. Really? I think I, I, I slightly agree with it. Uh, I don't know. Have I ever just made up a story off the top of my head on this show that everybody believed? <laughs> I yeah, you literally just did it. Hey, Rich, please tell me you're kidding. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> hey, Rich, what's your answer to this question? <laughs> Definitely agree. I love fucking dumb stories. I love lying. I love lying, yes. I love <laughs> lying so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I definitely agree. Uh, number 15, I find myself drawn more strongly to people than to things. Mm, what about uh, animals? Are animals a people or animals a thing? Animals are things. Because <laughs> yeah, you can't agree. like hold a conversation and the, the animal really You'd be doesn't surprised. have to say in whatever you do. I've had oh, better really? conversations with my cat than with Florian. <laughs> <laughs> but even cheers the puzzler. Yeah, humans mm -hmm. are animals. <laughs> well, I mean, no. rich blown the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> did he say no to that? No, <laughs> we're not animals. We're not animals. We're better than them, I swear. I mean, we are better Florian. than them, but we're still animals. What 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 happens to you if you kill an animal Dude, versus look killing up. a person? Like the, the definition of an animal is like a thing that eats and poops, you know? Like that's, that's definitely <laughs> Okay, honest. let's ignore that stupid yeah, but... statement and back up. What did you mean by that, E Rich? What happens if you kill an animal? What what are you trying to say there? justice system and society that people have created will punish you or like treat you very differently than if you kill a person uh, i don't know it's illegal to just go like shoot your dog in the head in the middle of town square it is. right it absolutely is. will you be like sentenced to fucking prison for several years what the fuck My morality doesn't come from the punishment he rich <laughs> yeah. no but like i, I don't know just, like, like it doesn't even make sense like like if this like a bunch of animals, uh, like like if there's a bunch of cows, and then you start killing cows, then you'll be dead. There'll be a punishment, like they'll kill you from the cow council. The cows? 
Yeah, are the cows gonna <laughs> fucking sentence you to death? Or yeah, yeah, they <laughs> are. They're gonna, they're gonna defend the animals. Young. They're not. Dude, if there's a, a herd of cows and you start killing them, they're gonna fucking kick your head in. What are you kidding? <laughs> I don't, don't think so. They're gonna run away. What, you think they're just gonna die? The cows are not, like, violent, vicious creatures, <laughs> are they? Have you ever uh, yeah, heard of the concept of a slaughterhouse? <laughs> yeah, why don't they just fight back? Why didn't the slaves yeah. just fight against the master, Florian? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. Good question. <laughs> I still question that every day, you know? They outnumbered them for sure. It wouldn't have taken that much work. Cows kill more humans than you'd think, okay? But not I mean, enough. Uh, That's we, not what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, we, the question we, uh, is, <laughs> I find myself drawn more strongly to people than to things. I think we just proved our I, autism. I, 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 <laughs> right I disagree. Then. You disagree, Florian? Yeah, definitely prefer things. <laughs> okay, mm. What about you, you rich? Definitely prefer people, but not that strongly, so <laughs> slightly agree. <laughs> Are we counting animals as things? Because I definitely like yes. my... I like my have to... Okay, I slightly uh, disagree then, because I like my animals more than I like my people. I mean, I don't okay. really know if... You, I think animals probably should go in between people and things, but I mean, whatever. Like, we have to look at what the, what the intention of the question is, and... Yeah. I mean, like, you're definitely more, I mean, you're probably less autistic if you hang out with animals than if you hang out, like, with a stamp collection, right? I don't know, Everich, what would you value more? Like, like a, a one thing or, like, a thousand people? Uh, a thousand people, I'd say. Okay. So Florian answered this actually pretty accurately, then. Uh, yeah. 16. <laughs> I tend to have very strong interests, which I get upset about if I can't pursue. Uh, yeah, I guess. What I, what I guess are you interested in agree. that you cannot pursue that you're- what are you being held back from pursuing? I mean, I assume, like, it's probably like stupid shit like playing games and I'm like always <coughs> wanting to play them. Yeah. If you, would, if you were to be like forced to do a job, let's say, like a, a <laughs> menial office job and you could not play video games, uh, would that upset you a lot, Florian? I mean, it probably would upset me less than you'd think, but like, mm -hmm. nah, but now I'm completely spoiled by not having ha not having <laughs> to work like at regular times. So now it's a yeah. problem. Hey guys, I have a proposal for you. What if, since this is a 50 question quiz, what if after question 25, we say, hey, tune in next week for part two, and then we don't have to have a three hour episode this week. How's that sound? Yeah, I mean, that's I fine. I mean, I'd still prefer to record them both at the same time, though. Well, we'll see. We'll see how, because we're only on question 16. Let's see how long these next 10 are mm -hmm. going to take us. Florian. I mean, I, I, I think cutting it in half is a good idea for the viewers, but I think for us, it'd be easier to just do it all in one. I like compartmentalizing uh, my time in the chair, but, you know, we'll figure it out nine questions from now. But I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I'd be e equally tired after three hours and after one hour. Erich, so. do you tend to have very strong interests which you get very upset if you can't pursue? For example, if you were interested in doing this entire quiz in one podcast and somebody suggested <laughs> uh -huh. no, would you get very upset and start arguing about it nonsense? No, I do not give a single shit. Uh, <laughs> oh, whatever anyone else wants to do, uh, strongly disagree. Come on, let's do I do not quiz. give a shit. <laughs> I'm maybe maybe if you keep me in a prison or you would like say like you have to do this work nonstop for like a couple months I would get really irate about it but yeah um I'm trying to think what was the last time I had a very strong interest <laughs> like just in general <laughs> my interests are moderately charged okay I'm not getting very strong interests anymore so but if, if there was something I wanted to do and I just couldn't do it for whatever reason, it would be a little frustrating. So I'll, I'll give a slightly agree. Florian, do you enjoy social chit chat? Hmm. Hard to tell. Fuck. I don't know. Does this count? I guess yeah, I, I mean, I, no, I think us, us talking about sushi for 10 minutes and me shitting all over myself, you know, did you enjoy <laughs> that social chit chat? <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess I slightly enjoyed that. Yeah. <laughs> you slightly enjoy my company. That's good to know. Wow. I mean, I, I also get drained by it because I'm wow. introverted. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> what about well, you, like Other people. God damn it! Fuck off. Uh, slightly, slightly agree. I enjoy it. 
I'm gonna go for, you know, I've probably answered this differently before, but I'm gonna go definitely agree. Uh, you know, chatting it up with people, it's nice only having to do it for a couple hours a week as opposed to the mundanity of every day talking about the weather I assume most people have to go through. So as somebody with very limited social contact, you know, the little bit of chat I have usually is pretty fun. You know, I have to point out that I guess we have to go back to... I mean, it's a good example for that earlier question where I was like, yeah, I mean, I, I guess it's it's kind of annoying because I get drained and then you, you got offended by that slightly. Yeah. And, and I didn't realize that I, I was being slightly rude, you know? Uh, you weren't being rude. I, <laughs> if I get offended, I'm completely joking, Florian. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Number 18. When I talk, it isn't always easy for others to get a word in edgewise. Wait, what do you think, I Florian? Talk? Yeah, when uh, you talk. Oh. No, I don't Florian, how come you I don't let other problem. people speak? I do. Stop interrupting me. Yeah, you talk over us Florian, all the time. I can't get a fucking word in. Come on, fuck. No, okay, I'll stop. You can go ahead. <laughs> well, what do you think? I, I, I was just trying to stop you from getting a word in edgewise the whole time, so. <laughs> You know, I don't really have a, an opinion here. I mean, I, I think we're probably all pretty good at this since we're, we're streaming, like, on the podcast like this. Be pretty be awkward if anyone talked over it. Like, if Kino was here, he'd probably go on a, rant, uh, on a on a tangent for, like, two minutes where we don't get a word in. Yes, our irreversible review <laughs> is 70% Kino talking. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> yeah. But I've listened back to a few of our Is It Kino podcasts, and I do think, uh, like, Weekend Warrior, I find that we all might accidentally interrupt him more often than, than anybody else. <laughs> so I don't know if we're all innocent here. It might just be the internet connection. <laughs> No, I think it's the like the internet makes that harder to to judge. But I'm wondering if we're like we see weekend warriors lesser, so we like will yeah we'll drop all over. I, I mean, I don't see him as lesser. I think uh, maybe he's not he's not as into arguing with us. He doesn't really he's not as accustomed to interrupting us as we will be. So you know, maybe we're just ruder because we're more well, accustomed to each other. I don't, I don't think it's it's rude. I, I, I think it's just like a regular dance. You will have a moment where pe two people talk at the same time, and then whoever stops talking, is no, gonna... you won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your answer, Florian? Uh, I disagree. Okay. E rich. Uh, strongly disagree. Uh, people will constantly interrupt me or uh, talk over me, and I'll just be like, "All right, I don't, I don't care." <laughs> I'll do a slightly disagree because I do interrupt uh, from time to time, but I try to catch myself more often. Right. Number 19, I am fascinated by numbers. Florian. Uh, slightly disagree. I, I mean, I guess there's not much there. I guess it's just yeah. like specific numbers aren't that interesting. I mean, I like math, but that doesn't really count in this case, I don't think. Yeah, I feel like the word fascinated implies perhaps a childlike wonderment that numbers mm -hmm. really do not engender. Yeah. <laughs> it's very well, boring. Well, I do. I have like, I, I, I know some autistic people that really like know numbers and then are like, ah, I know this thing. And here it is. Here's this number. This is how this, <laughs> this is when this event happened. And this is this number. <laughs> oh, obsessed with dates all over again. <laughs> e Rich, are you fascinated by thing. numbers? Um, I am not the character Jonathan Numbers from the CBS show Numbers, so no. What? I am not fascinated by Numbers. Is that a real <laughs> show? The show Numbers? His name's not Jonathan Numbers, is it? <laughs> I would love it for <laughs> His name's Numbers? So is he like a detective who solves mysteries using math? Yes. Stupid. Uh... <laughs> His name is not Jonathan Numbers. Okay. Charlie, Charlie Epps. Charlie Epps. Wait, wait, hold on. Charlie, middle name Epps, last name Steen? Epps. <laughs> oh, I think we got him. Charlie oh, Epps Steen. We got him, That's folks. Went. Are you fascinated by numbers me? Uh, no, I am not. Next, number 20. When I'm reading a story, I find it difficult to work out the character's intentions. Uh, hmm. Slightly disagree. Uh, 
Go ahead, Erich. I'd say strongly disagree, because I can usually work out what, what a character is going for. Unless it's, like, specifically obtuse, or it's specifically, like, being held away from you. Yeah, I think this is something I uh, am particularly adept to as well, Erich. Uh, I'm always <laughs> trying to evaluate the character's motivations. Why are they saying or doing this? I think watching Succession is a great way to train your mm, brain into doing yeah. this one. Like watching this Absolutely. new season unfold after re rewatching the first three seasons, uh, I feel like I am enlightened watching the show. Like every single and having the again, I'm, I keep saying this: closed captioning's on screen helps you understand what you're watching so much more vividly. If you read the dialogue as it's being, you know, stated, you really absorb that information more, and you can get a lot more intention yep. behind the characters. So uh, my recommendation: go watch Succession, everybody. See if you can figure out who's going to betray who and why they're doing what they're doing. You know. Know, what what is Tom up to in season three? Go figure it out. I think yeah. I think Kendall I think Kendall has a plan this season, and we're we're starting to see it. Oh, everybody have, everybody has a game, E. Rich. Do you oh, have yeah. those, those subtitles on all the time? All every show yes. I watch, even Absolutely. King of the Hill is better. Strange. It's just my uh, life now. I'm the subtitle I hate subtitles, king. So it's never happening <laughs> for me. <laughs> That's why you won't watch French films because you have to read subtitles. I mean, yeah, specifically. This hasn't come out yet, as of uh, the the podcast viewers are concerned, but the funniest part of the Irreversible review is, like, you are so incredibly, genuinely angry that Kino asked you if you watch <laughs> French films, and you're like, are you seriously asking me right now if I watch films in French? And then he just ignores you and moves on. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy fuck. I have to listen to I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm so misunderstood when he asked me that. Like, I, I had a huge <laughs> debate on subtitles on his stream that one time, you know? Like, I, I would never. How are you going to enjoy myself. a film in a foreign language if you don't read subtitles? Dubs. <laughs> that was Boring dubs. Dubs. Oh my god, you watch dubs? Is there a dub dubs, of Irreversible? Right? No, that's why it sucks. <laughs> oh, that, that's why it American sucks. <laughs> <laughs> the irreversible sucks because there's not an English dub. Yeah, it's a problem with those arts and French films, you know? That, that's Although like, it so must important. be different. It must be different if you're constantly watching, like, the English version of something, and then, like, there are dubbed versions in other languages. That must be different. Uh, well, I mean, I wouldn't watch... I mean, I... I wouldn't prefer a German dub, I'd prefer an English dub, but I mean... No, I know, but I assume that you grew up watching some German dubs? Oh yeah, I hate those. To some those. extent? Yeah. I mean, I guess they're they're fine if you don't speak English, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I definitely prefer, like, the more common dub, the one that, that's got all the money in it, you know? You guys ready for the next question? Number 21. Yeah. I don't particularly enjoy reading fiction. You big fiction well, head, Florian? I mean, this this is such a stupid, outdated question because I'm pretty sure that like watching fiction would would also count. But like, I mean, I I, I guess the part. Florian, I do think that reading has to like engage you more for you to like seek out reading to do. You can watch a two-hour movie and then go about your day, but to actually sit down and read a long-term piece of fiction, I think it's different. Well, I'm going to take the word particularly here and say that this means that it's just compared to other stuff. Then, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to read like a, a dictionary or or like, <laughs> like a book about things. Like I'd, I'd look up. Well, I don't know. I guess that that would be reading too. Wait, is this about books? No, it's not. <laughs> reading fiction in general. I, I what part I, of this are you not understanding? <laughs> maybe, maybe the spirit of the question is: Do you prefer fiction or nonfiction? I don't know if yeah, it's really about I mean, reading I, a book. It, maybe it's about like: Do you enjoy reading things that are made up? Because maybe autistic people don't. Yeah, right. I'm, I think there's like a special kind of autistic people that just hates. That, 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 wait, no, do they just like love reading like facts? Probably. Mm. It might seem like yeah. a waste of time to like learn about the lore and world building of a fake world when there's so much to learn mm -hmm. about Earth. Well, I strongly disagree, so whatever. Okay. All right. I also strongly disagree with this. One of the first times I was ever confronted with this idea that people didn't like fiction, I was flabbergasted. <laughs> I, I, I was... I was in a scout troop, and the one scout leader said he didn't like to read fiction or watch <laughs> fictional movies or like doing that stuff. And he's like, 
it just it, it, it's a waste of time it doesn't exist and like i had never <laughs> thought of it from that point of view that these things didn't exist and therefore did not matter at all and it like it fundamentally changed how I saw the world because those people exist. Those people are walking around. Yeah, just Eridge, like you. you were sitting there watching a Holocaust documentary, and he's like, "What a waste <laughs> of time! It's all made up." God damn it! <laughs> you're watching I, Shoah like, who wrote this gay shit? <laughs> this shit's way too long. <laughs> Anyways, that guy went on to become a, a mess cook. You know, it's it's Walter White. Oh, that is true. No, Walter White does hate fiction. Right. He hates time yeah. machines. <laughs> yeah, they're and, possible. And see, every time he, he's watching Scarface in one scene, he likes Scarface, but that's kind of based in reality. I mean, not really, yeah. but kind of. Uh, he's watching it? like yeah. nature documentaries all the time. I think Walter White might be autistic, guys. Well, I, I guess he just, I guess he just hates science fiction in that case. Yeah, that's true. Well, damn, I guess he just loves science so much he can't he can't stand all that fake science. Speaking Poor of guy. which, when are we doing the next Breaking Bad podcast? Uh, maybe oh, next week. Question. Maybe in the next week, hopefully. If Hearty's aunt allows us. Well, uh-huh. I, think it, I think there's a holiday coming up, so there should be time. 420? It, it's this week. No, like for kids, I don't know. Yeah, Is 420. This week? Well, tell them now so you can start watching. <laughs> Uh, Florian, I find it hard to make new friends. That's not a you prompt, I was just question. speaking. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I uh, was the same boat as you guys on the fiction one. Do you find it hard to make new friends, Florian? Uh, I, I actually strongly disagree. Wait, no, slightly disagree. Yeah, I, I make plenty of friends, I guess. Like, maybe I don't keep them around enough, but... Yeah. Hey, it didn't say you have to maintain the friends. It said to make <laughs> friends. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you're just making acquaintances, though, it doesn't count that much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about you, Eridge? <laughs> I'm very bad at making actual friends. I make tons of acquaintances. I'm very affable. I'm very joyous person. But uh, I, I will almost never initiate and be like, I want to be your friend. Somebody else would have to do that to me to be like, OK, yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> I guess so I guess I ruined the question by introducing. Yes, I find it hard to make friends. <laughs> So you wow, say uh, slightly, slightly you. disagree, you Strong, Strongly, strongly agree. Oh, slightly, that I find yeah, hard. agree. Okay. Yeah, I mostly just have my friends from high school and a couple from college, really. Maybe you'll be the most autistic just based on this question. Very well could be. Like, it's the thing where, like, as an adult, I don't know how to talk to people and be like, I would like to, because everyone's busy. Everybody, like, I, I don't know. Yeah, who has time to make, like, a friend friend in person? Right. Aren't aren't friends right. just who we talk to on our phones now? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I mean, doesn't that count? Like, in, in the modern day when you're expected to work 60 hours a week and you still get in, like, sleep and all this other shit, who the fuck has time for friend engagements as an adult? Yeah, it's weird. And making new friends... Uh, excuse me, honey, but I think I've got plenty as it is. I don't need any new friends, so do I find not it hard? Anymore. It's not that I find We're it hard, I find up. it unnecessary. Mm, so to answer the question, no big, <laughs> well, I'll say I slightly agree, because it's hard to do because I, just, I don't find the need to, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, are there friends, people who no go is around and just, like, make new, like, are there people who go from, like, social space to social space making a bunch they do i think they do they like just make friends with everyone there they like talk to them like what's even the purpose he's collecting friends like <laughs> like in the sims like you need to have 10 friends to fucking upgrade your job career to so go what the fuck why are you collecting so many friends how many do you need other people must do this it has to be because like people are way more social <laughs> than me wow. so it has to be they're just con like they're, they're sharks they literally just swim around and rather than <laughs> eating other things they make friends. What, Listen, they're, they're, they're sharks because they have they, they like making friends. <laughs> wow, I they never stop. They cannot stop that. Like so, <laughs> like I, I have a friend like that who just he just makes tons of friends with with tons of people, and I'm just sitting here mystified. I'm like, holy shit. 
But that, why you like this? This is so weird. Well, maybe I mean, some people like that though. Maybe it's less of friends and more of social networking, where they're just trying yeah, to have as many yeah. connections as possible, and they're feigning That's friendship and, and kindness. I hate those motherfucking <laughs> people. That when I was a freshman in college, this fucking guy who was just like that. He was running for. He wanted to be like president of our class, so he's just overly fake and nice to everybody. Had no real personality at all because he didn't want. He, what a real politician at the age of nineteen, this little bastard. <laughs> right. Shout out. Robert, you piece of shit. Uh, I hate I you. I think you can like, you can watch those people and like when there's no one around them, they like shut down. Like they, and there's no inner personality. Up, they they yeah, don't exist if they're no not talking inner, to somebody. There is wow. no inner light or life there. They like come alive around other people and then as soon as they're alone, they like go away. Yeah, yeah. get a load of these nerds complaining out the popular kids. Jesus, that's right. <laughs> That's right, because you know what, Florian? I consider each person as being uh, containing multitudes, you know? If I'm going to get to know somebody, I can't also get to know 80 other people on that same in-depth level, okay? If you have more than 10 friends, that means you don't value me as a human being. You don't want to get to know me mm -hmm. on a deep, personal level. You just want to have a, a sh you know, a, a mile wide and an inch deep with each person. <laughs> Fuck that. I'll, I'll go a mile deep in three people. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> uh, I would not suggest you do that. <laughs> Go a I mean, mile deep. No, oh, I'm doing it. I'm going deep. I mean, I, I have like... I mean, I, I lost like all the friends from school like after like five years of... What graduation. happened? Did they, did they no, like, I, no, die, I just, die in no, The Holocaust? <laughs> no, I just didn't hang out with them so they don't count as friends anymore. <laughs> like, I mean, I, they were, I was barely friends even. So I, I think I... I like might make like a friend every two or three years, you know. And then I eventually I'll get up to ten friends in like when I'm forty. So who knows? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's just a different. It's a little different. I guess you guys got your your ten friends already, or what? <laughs> My three friends. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> who are they? <laughs> I'm talking to them right now. We're all right here. <laughs> well, you, you are your own friend. <laughs> I would hope so. No, my, I, yeah. my, my cat would, is also in the room, so all three of my friends are right here. I, I wouldn't want to be enemies with me. <laughs> oh, I've gone that route. Does not work out. <laughs> Bad things can happen. Number 23. I notice patterns in things all the time. Uh, the number 23. Am I right, guys? I have not seen that movie. <laughs> the Jim Carrey movie? Yeah, okay. Is that better or worse than Lucky Number Slevin? <laughs> Probably better. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, Florian. I do notice that. Uh, I, 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 I was going to say I strongly agree, but now I only slightly agree because you guys reminded me of the, the number autism again that I don't have. So. <laughs> I, mean, okay. I, I think I, I get like other patterns, like visual patterns maybe. Hmm. Oh, well. Erich, what about you? Uh, slightly agree with this. It, it is not like all encompassing, all consuming that I'm constantly being like the patterns are everywhere. But uh, I do notice things. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll agree with that. I think it's also just part of media literacy is if you can notice the patterns, if you can notice the very subtle details that um, Oda will have Luffy fight the main bad guy yes. in every arc, you could probably mm -hmm. guess that he will also fight the main bad guy in the next arc. You know, that's a pattern Whoa. recognition. Yeah. Now that you say that, that's right. He's always fighting the Basically, <laughs> 80% of all One Piece theory videos are people like just listing out. Well, so Oda has done this 15 times now. So my theory is he'll do it again. <laughs> oh, no shit, wow, Mr. Morge. You fucking figured that one out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a deep theory. Uh, 24 is a show I gave up on two episodes in. Uh, <laughs> I would rather go to the theater than to a museum. Okay, what fucking kind of theater, theater are we talking about? This is such a stupid test. Like, why don't you say cinema? <laughs> fucking theater, really? Yeah, but they could mean like the musical theater or the uh, like acting theater. Really? Is there a spelling difference with the ER and the RE for a different kind no. of theater? No. The H ray. Yeah. But I feel like they would say the movies or. Yeah, I mean, they should. I swear this test's gonna be like 50 years old if there's no movies here. No, it's 50 questions. <laughs> <laughs> One for each year. Uh, wait, would you rather see a live performance of humans talking about the importance of being earnest, or would you rather go check out the Holocaust Museum for another wank, Florian? 
You ever I steal mean, the shoes at a Holocaust museum? I well, I'm definitely you. going with the museum, I guess. Definitely. After that, just, after that option I gave you, you're definitely going to the museum. <laughs> There's no fucking way I'm going to a, a like a live enactment of 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 like anything. Like wow. I'll go to the cinema like 10 times before I never go to the fucking theater. That's crazy. I, I mean, as a theater kid, I guess I'm offended yet again, Florian. I've, <laughs> I guess I've been in more theater productions than you've seen in your entire life, which is, uh, I guess, well, pretty I, fun. I think I was like maybe in, in, in the opera twice but with the You were in the opera? You've been in more shows than you've seen. Are you a soprano? No, no, I meant like I, I've been to see it. Jesus. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. No, no, I like they they made us go to to operas. Okay. Florian was Don Giovanni the whole time. Well, to be <laughs> fair to Florian, operas can be a little uh, hefty. You know, lots of singing and a voice that you intentionally cannot decipher the words that they're saying, and they say, "Oh, oh yeah. it was it's stylistically designed to be uh, it, it, unable to comprehend." Oh, okay, mm, cool. I'm so glad I'm yeah, sitting here for you. four fucking hours. We're gonna yeah, make you the strato. And then, like, me. everyone's wearing a suit. Jesus, what a what a stupid fucking place. Yeah, no, you gotta go see a <laughs> real play. Like, go see the Book of Mormon or, uh, I mean, Death of a Salesman, you could probably just read. You don't really need to see that. <laughs> a lot of plays uh, you could just it's read. a movie, right? Is there a movie? Well, yeah. I mean, that's not what we're talking about. Yeah, I mean, I think it probably should be. I, whatever. I mean, there are movies. Uh, uh, John Malkovich, I think, played uh, Happy. In or maybe one of them, I don't know. Uh <laughs> Erich, did you answer this? Um, one I would, I would strongly agree. I'd rather go to the theater than the museum, because the museum is always going to be there. Yeah, I'm. I love going to the theater. Wow. I would go more often, but it costs a fucking arm and a leg to go, and it's just not worth it. Yeah. Uh, museums, yeah, for sure. Museums are all around. Most of them are free, and I don't go already. So, <laughs> given so the choice, I'm not going to choose it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn. I mean, I mean, fuck museum. What am I gonna do? Museum might as well be the library. Like I can look at pictures of this shit at home. <laughs> you know, you're not. It's not like the zoo where I I can't look at a lion in person at home. But like anything yeah, they, at the museum, like what do they have that I can't see at home? I mean, I I I enjoyed when they made me go to the museum more than when they made me go to the opera. In, the, the <laughs> in fact, I, I think I really like the museum. I really should go more often. I'm trying to think of like, <laughs> what is you. even at a museum worth seeing? Like fucking prehistoric clothing on a mannequin or something? Oh. Like what the fuck? Do you, you want to see all these oh. Holocaust bones? Well, you'll find, you'll, you'll have like actual caveman tools and shit. That's really cool. How, how do you not like that? Hmm. I'd rather just see like a live animal, you know, lounging around being tortured in a zoo than <laughs> like just fucking like a, a literal <laughs> stone age, like time. a stone mallet or something. Like, oh, yep, it sure is sitting there. <laughs> it sure is in that glass. I, I mean, like, if if it's like a real artifact, I think I've seen like like that fat Venus once, the one that, that everyone knows, the one with the, the locks all over the face, so That's it doesn't have a real ones. face. Hmm. Willendorf, I guess, is the one. Well, if we're only doing 25 for this episode, we are on the final question. You guys ready? Whoa. Yeah. Yep. It does not upset me if my daily routine is disturbed. <laughs> oh, shit. No, I strongly <laughs> disagree. Like, like if, 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 like, the girl that comes over is late, then I, you, you can be sure I'm not going to get any work done that day. Wait, yeah. what, what girl coming over? What do you mean? <laughs> like the pizza delivery girl? No. <laughs> what girl? The Amazon girl. The, yeah. Uh, well, she is yeah. probably Amazon S, as in like six foot three. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely. Like I don't think you need to say Amazon S. I think it's just Amazons. And yeah, no, you like, don't need to add Amazonian. Yeah, yeah, like even like even if the if like a podcast isn't happening, I'm still gonna like. Oh yeah, I guess this day's ruined. Great. Your whole day's ruined Wait, if somebody's because late. One hour. Because one hour did not happen. The entire day is ruined. Yeah, I'll be procrastinating that whole hour, and then if it if it happens or if it doesn't happen, I'll definitely be drained afterwards. Damn. 
Yeah. This is That's autism. That's awesome. I love when that happens because it's like it's free time all of a sudden. Yeah, people people canceling plans is a like a godsend for you, Eric. It's a blessing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And Florian's like, oh no, 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 I cannot eat another bite of this nitchel. I cannot program one more bug out of the ball frog. <laughs> Basically. I mean I'll, I'll I'll probably eat a lot if if I'm if I'm having one of those days, you know? Yeah, we've all been there. <laughs> Lots of sushi. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just all you can eat. So you're going to say, E. Rich, uh, you strongly agree that it does not upset you. Yes. If your daily agree. routine is disturbed. It does not say if your sugar baby shows up late. It says if your daily routine daily is routine. disturbed. Yeah. Like, like, here's the thing. If it's like traffic and I'm stuck in traffic for more than an hour, that would be upsetting. But... Traffic is usually like five, oh, that'd ten be minutes. nightmarish. Like if, like if if the bus isn't here or something, Jesus. <laughs> that has happened to me before. Yeah. So you're gonna say slightly agree then, you rich? Yeah, slightly agree sounds better. I'm trying to think. What is my daily routine, and how could it be disturbed? Wait, hmm. slightly agree. I saw you just said you you, you hate it. All right. Uh, you, you love Internet it. outage. Internet outage or power outage. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, I mean. You, like, it's clear that one of them is better than the other. Like, if you don't have power, you also don't have internet, right? Uh, yeah, like, in an internet outage would definitely disturb your... Your routine for the day, if that's what you do yeah. online. Um, I'm just going to say I right. slightly uh, agree as well. Like, I'm not too upset if, you know, something happens to throw a monkey wrench in my plan. It's like, yeah, you know, you got to be like water, like Kendall. You got to just... Allow exactly. yourself to fill up whatever container you're in. Mm-hmm. And wow. uh, that brings us halfway through this autism quiz that Florian demands we continue on <laughs> right now. But I'll say, yeah. hey, Erich, oh. when do you want to come back to finish this one? You got time I, next week? You're going to upset my day like that? Jeez. We could. Uh, gotta... <laughs> when we come back together next week to, to do Breaking Bad, we could just do this right after. I mean, we okay. got to still do like John Wick. I, I think we really should keep going. Oh my god. Yeah, well, I think John Wick might be left behind if we're going to also do the Dungeons and Dragons movie. And thanks we to you, we have, keep to, going. we have to do we the Hobbit do Battle of Five Armies soon now because of you. <laughs> well, that's probably like two weeks in the future. Yeah. Guess who voted for Hobbit Battle of Five Armies? <laughs> About everybody? Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should definitely join us on that one, Eva. I think it's still tied with the room, so we'll see. I think we'll probably have to end up doing both. Mm-hmm. Which is fine. Uh, I'm going to have to yeah. screenshot all of our answers here so we don't have to retake the quiz in two minutes before the next podcast. Uh, <laughs> but are you guys okay if we just don't do a John Wick is it Kino? I think it you know, it might be too late. I mean, I, I yeah, that's fine. Wanna, I, I do want to rant about that one. Hmm. Well, Damn. you can do it briefly maybe during Dungeons and Dragons, but uh, you know, if we're only releasing one Kino a week and there's so many damn movies out that we want to talk about, sometimes you got to mm-hmm. pick and choose. Oh, yeah. Right. I'd rather talk about Dungeons and Dragons because that needs it. I mean, I don't, I, I don't know if I need to. I, I don't know if we need to do Mario, but I guess. Oh, we're you. doing Mario. Yeah, we need to do Mario. We're doing Mario's Mario. Mario is hugely popular. I haven't even seen Mario's it. Mario's going to make tons of I'm, money. I'm seeing it tomorrow. It, I, I mean, it just came out today, so I don't know if anybody has seen it yet, Florian. It's only <laughs> yeah. noon. Yeah. Motherfucker's got work, I hope. <laughs> Not yeah, us. I'd have, I'd have to go see it right now, maybe. Uh, run! <laughs> run! Oh, no. Run, don't walk to your nearest cinema. No, I'll watch it tomorrow. Already. Does anybody else find it creepy uh, how people in the tens of thousands are liking tweets, like, trying to protect this movie from any criticism at all? Oh my god, guys, the Mario movie has a 50% on Rotten Tomatoes. What do these critics know? Oh, like, what the fuck? Why are you defending this Illumination fucking cartoon movie? Like, it's your own right. child. It, maybe I it mean, is a piece of shit. How do you know? People I mean, I, love Mario. Look, the, these these critics have been real fucking shit lately, okay? Fucking Shazam, Ant-Man, like, so many good movies getting bad reviews by critics. I hate it, okay? But I just feel like people have, like, a creepy attachment to the Mario movie that they haven't seen yet. I mean, yeah. I really wish they would have done the voice differently. Yeah, so stupid. Yeah. Welcome to 2022 <laughs> discourse. Yeah. Do you guys have anything um, you want to plug? Anybody you want to hug? Anything you want to shrug? 
Uh, you guys watched my, my Veil review yet? <laughs> no, I will. Yeah. Yee, Rich, how dare you? I watch, I'm probably the first viewer on every single anti-reviews video. <laughs> I've got yeah. the alerts turned on. As soon as it pops up, I click, give it that like, drop a comment. Yeah, I think I should have like one coming out on every Saturday from now on, so that's cool. But the next one's about a comic instead of a movie, so that's uh -huh. something. Uh -huh. All kinds of end time reviews, you know? <laughs> really switching it up. Yep. Erich, what do you want to plug? Yeah, you can find me on Twitter at T-Z-A-R-R-E-V and letterboxed at Revan1138. Uh, go ahead and find me there. And down in the comments, let us know, based on the quiz so far, who you think will end up being the most autistic uh, oh. for the treehouse. I have been Simeon Jimmy. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye.